George is one on the airport tracks in all three prairie provinces, at Fort McLeod, Davidson, and McDonald. Every race is preceded by a mechanical inspection. The regulations are explicit. Safety rules must be fulfilled. Motorsport is highly organized, with scrutineers and stewards as its policemen. Particular emphasis is placed on the inspection of suspension and steering mechanism. The driver must wear proper helmets, goggles, and seat belts. The scrutineers will not give their approval till they are certain the car is mechanically sound and the brakes are set up evenly. of a race, uh, just like at the beginning of a court case, is when uh, you have to double check your preparation. Uh, actually, while you're doing a lot of these things, they're, it's automatic to you to do them, but your, your mind is uh, being directed ahead to what's, a, what's coming up and what you're going to try to anticipate, what you're going to have to meet as uh, the race goes on. On these prairie circuits where I've learned uh, most of my uh, sports car racing and uh, over the years there's been tremendous improvements both in the uh, caliber of the driving of the competitors and also in the class of cars that have been taking part in the races. presents a challenge. There's a, a combination of demands that are made on a driver. It isn't just the best car, or rather the fastest car, or fastest or most powerful car that will win a race. There's a, quite an element of skill in it. I, I don't hold myself uh, out to be the best in this department, but I, I realize the skills that are required, and I've been working at uh, developing them. You have to learn the limitations of your car. You have to uh, try and develop an idea of what distance you can stop the car in. You have to uh, learn how tight you can turn your car at any given speed and uh, learn to calculate the factors that are involved in, in getting a car through a bend or a series of bends as quickly as possible. When you're turning a corner in a sports car and you're naturally going as fast as you can, you're just uh, on the brink of uh, spinning out, uh, losing control of your car and sliding off the course and staying on. So you're, you're kind of walking a, a tightrope. And uh, it's this, this balance, as you might call it, that uh, a person has to learn. And the better you can do it, the faster you can get around the course. is always the big moment and it's uh, pretty nice to be out there in front. 
Uh, it, to me, I have a tremendous feeling of exuberance when I win a, win a race. Uh, I feel partly uh, this feeling because of the fact that it's a culmination of a team effort. And uh, there's a lot of fellows that have done a lot of work in my cars, and I know they share my enthusiasm uh, with me, and they're justly proud that the car has come through. It's uh, funny, I, I don't really notice the spectators out there, although uh, they, they really do get enthusiastic about a winner. Uh, myself, I'm out there to take part in the race, and uh, this is all I really ever notice. I do like to try and share my uh, the, the thrill of the win with uh, Helen. We, uh, uh, wherever possible, she gets a ride around the track carrying the checkered flag, but uh, that isn't often enough. Victory. It tastes good. It brings warm greetings from George's young daughter, photographs by a friend, and relief to a parched throat. It's good to win among friends. It also helps to accumulate championship points. Competing in the Canadian Driving Championship necessarily